So in this video, you'll learn how to translate web pages on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So because this is an AI feature, we actually have to enable it in our Galaxy AI settings. To do that, start by opening the settings app, and then you want to scroll and select Galaxy AI. From here, look for Browsing Assist and tap on it. Then select the option Translate and just tap on the toggle at the top to enable it. If you want to install a language pack so that you can translate, tap on Language Packs for Translation. And then you'll have your default system language already added. And then if you've previously changed your system language, that language pack will also be listed here. So in order for you to install another language, just scroll through the list of available languages and tap on the download button and wait for that language pack to be downloaded. Be patient while it downloads onto your phone because these language packs are big, so you'll have to wait patiently. And then you can just scroll through the list and just to download any language that you wish to use. And then just wait for the downloads to complete themselves. Then once your language pack has successfully installed, you should see it under the list of installed options. So from here, you can now start using it for whenever you want to translate web pages. So the first step is to open the Samsung internet app. If you try using any other web browser, bear in mind that this feature won't be available. So ensure that you're using the Samsung internet app and then just launch it like that. From here, open the web page and you should see at the bottom of your screen, this Galaxy AI button or this Galaxy AI icon. You want to tap on it to view the different AI options and then you want to select translate. And then once you've selected translate, you want to tap on this language at the top currently. And then by default, it will be set to the language of the web page. So if the web page was in English, the language will be set to English. So you want to tap on it and then choose from the list of language packs you've installed. So for example, Arabic, like that. And then just wait for the changes to be applied. And you'll notice after a few seconds that your whole web page has successfully switched languages. So you've translated it to something different. Again, if you have any other web packs available, just tap on the language option, select your preferred option, and then wait for a few seconds for the changes to load themselves. However, you'll also notice that you also have the option of switching it back to the original. So tap on show original, and this will take it back to the default language of the web page. So the language that it was in previously is the language that you'll see the web page in. If you've already summarized the web page. So for example, if you've tapped on this AI button and selected summarize and the whole uh, web page has already been summarized, you can also choose to translate it from here. So once the web page has been summarized, just tap on translate like this and then wait for it to be translated. So once it's translated, you can see the two options. So you want to choose your translating from English to something else. So for example, Arabic. And once you've done that, you'll notice that translation has been finished. If you want to change it to something different, so for example, you're translating it to Dutch, just tap on it and then it will be translated to Dutch. So it's completely up to you to decide which language packs you prefer to use and how you're going to translate the web pages. Again, if you want to view the originals, just tap on show original and it will take you back to the original summarization. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.